All right, so in this video, I'm going to go over a formula called date diff. Um, I call this the, the secret Excel formula, and it's not just me that calls it this. I'm sure there are plenty others. And the reason it's, it's secret is that when you go to type in the function, it actually doesn't exist um, in Excel's, I guess you could call it its, its auto memory, or it doesn't exist in the functions that show up when you when you go to start typing. As an example, if I go to type equals s, there'll be an entire list of functions that I can choose from. If I type you know, equals d, you'll see the same thing. Now, when I do date diff, you'll see that nothing shows up. It doesn't exist. Um, or it doesn't exist in, the, in Excel's memory, but it does actually work. It's a very important function. So I like to go over um, the benefits of it and then how to actually utilize it in your models. So uh, first a little background. So date diff basically will quickly give you the difference between two dates. So you can use it in, in um, three period or three measures of periods, which are days, months, and years. And so I'll just build it right now. There's really not much more to explain. So you'll see I utilize this formula quite a bit. I'm sure Spencer utilizes it as well. Um, you'll see in my condo development model, um, when I'm pulling in the dates from, you know, you have retail inputs and then construction completion, and I want to know the total construction time frame. Or I'm sorry, you'll see project start date and then total construction completion date. You'll see that I utilize date diff here to get the total months. And so again, this is a very versatile and useful um, function to have in your in your quiver, so to speak. So I'll show you how it works. So I'm going to put in a day, put in 1-1-2021. One, one, and then let's just put some date out in the future. We'll do 5, I don't know, 26, 20, 32. Oop. All right. So if I want to know the amount of days between... Uh, these two dates, I type in equals date diff, open parentheses, and then the first thing I do is I go to the earliest date, comma, then I go to the ending date, and then if I want to do days, I'll do in quotation marks. I'll do open quotations, I'll type the letter D, close quotations, and then I'll close it. So this will be 4,163 days between January 1st, 2021 and May 26th, 2032. So if I want the months, I'll do equals date. And you'll see the dates here. And then when I type D, everything disappears. So do diff, again, comma. And then I'm going to put in parentheses M. And you'll see there's 136 months. And now we'll do years. So we'll do equals date diff. First month. Or beginning month and month. Quotes. Year. Close. So you'll see there's 11 years between 2021 and 2032. All right, so let's explore a little bit exactly how this counts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the end date back closer to um, the start date so we can kind of just get a clear picture. So I'll do 1, 2, 2021. And so you'll see this is one day. The amount of months that have passed is zero. The amount of years that have passed is zero. And so now what I'll do is I'll make this February. So I see we have 32 days, we have one month. If I make this February 1st, it's still one month. And if I make this the 31st of January, this is just to show you that you need to count through a full month. So you'll see if I go to January 31st, the month goes back to zero. And so what I'll do is I'll make this a 12. So this will be an entire year. And you'll see we have 11 months, so it needs to be a full month to get over into the 12th month. So even though you're close, you're one day off, it'll still show as 11 months. So now we'll flip this over into 2022. 
And there you have it. So there's 365 days, 12 months have passed, and one year has passed. All right, and so that's it. I hope uh, this video is helpful, and I will see you next time.